Ooh, a question. Human resources. It, what? Is that the research topic? Is it the name of the course? Is it the name of the journal they're looking for? So that I can answer your question better, can you tell me... Darn it! Ah, uh, that's better. When you ask a librarian a question, we're probably going to end up asking you some questions back. We're not trying to put you off or make things difficult. It's just that sometimes we need context and background information so that we can give you more than a generic have you tried searching in the databases response. You can help us make this go quicker by sharing a few details. Here are some tips for asking a reference question so that we can give you the answer that will be the most useful for you. One. Don't ask your question and disconnect. We don't have any way to get back to you. If you want to look at another web page, you can do that in another window. Two, please consider telling us your email address. It will be useful for us to get back in touch if we do get disconnected. Also, if we later find something that would help you with your question, we can send it to you. Three, tell us that you're an undergraduate student or a graduate student what course your question is related to, or even what area of study you're working in. We need the context to help us focus our answers in a way that will help you. Four, there are some technology tools you can use. If you're not comfortable with chat, please feel free to get our attention that way and then ask to switch to email or phone. And if you would like to show us what you're trying to do, or have us demonstrate something, you can ask for screen sharing video chat. You can also upload files, which is great for showing us a screenshot of what you're looking at. And at the end of a chat session, once you close the box, it will give you a chance to email the transcript to yourself. 5. Here are some things to let us know so we can give you a better answer. We'll keep them confidential. If English is not your primary language, please let us know up front. If you're not proficient with computers yet, don't be embarrassed. Just tell us you need us to explain something. We all have to so start somewhere. Nobody is born knowing these things. If you have a disability, please consider telling us that. We understand that this is sensitive information, but like I said, we keep it confidential, and we use it to find you accessibility tools and features. What kinds of questions can we answer? We can tell you if we have something, like a book, article, video, newspaper, whatever. We can help you find a physical book or other item at a library near you. We can help you find materials on the web. We can help you troubleshoot a problem that occurred with a library database. We can help you find the thing that your instructor wanted you to read or watch, even if the link they gave you is broken, or they didn't give clear instructions on how to find it. We can help you understand research concepts like what is peer review, or how do you find and use primary sources. We can help you cite your sources, both in terms of how to format the citations and in terms of when, where, and why to cite. We can help you narrow your research topic down and phrase it as a thesis statement. We can help you learn to evaluate your information sources to see if they're relevant and credible enough to use for your research. We can help you find your information sources from whatever starting point you have, whether that's one author that you know is good, or one journal that's been recommended, or one article that's perfect but you need ten more just like it. We can help you make your research topic more manageable and specific. We can help you save your searches for later and use other technical features of our databases. We can help you narrow down your search by all sorts of different criteria, including publication date or document type. And we can help you even if you've never done college research before and don't know where to begin. Here's the thing about college research. It's not easy. There's nothing we can do to make it easy. We can save you time, and we can get you better results, but it's still a messy, challenging process that involves looping around and learning as you go. There are a lot of things that don't make sense until you've been doing them a while, and the longer you do them, the more things get revealed. Sometimes they become confusing all over again, and then get even clearer. There's nothing for it except to be patient with yourself and with the process. Research isn't just important to getting grades and graduating. 
It's important to being a person who can educate yourself throughout your life. The learning curve may be steep at times, but you can do this, and we librarians are here to help you in whatever way works best for you. So if you remember only one thing from this video, please remember that whenever you need help with a library or research, go to www.esc.edu slash askalibrarian.